Hello, in this video, I will show you how to use CNPET Verilog A models in advanced design system to design inverter and NAND gates. In the previous video, I showed the process of creating a symbol using Verilog A. This was the Verilog A file which we have created for NCN FET and its symbol. In the similar manner, you need to create for PCN FET. This is the symbol for PCN FET. So once these two are created, you can create the designs such as inverter, NAND gates. So for that case, I'll create one more schematic and name it as inverter with DC characteristics. Click on this, create schematic. So it opens the workspace where you can place the components. This is the workspace where you can place the components. To place the components, either you can just drag these symbols into this workspace area that is NCN FET and PCN FET. You can directly drag them or else you can go to insert component that is insert component component library so from this select the workspace library this time select ncn fit to be placed right click place the component again use the component library to place the pcn fit Select this, right click, place the components. So once the components are placed, you can create the inverter schematic as a normal way. So this is how you place the components into the work area. Make the connections by using the insert wire option. Gate to gate connection drain to drain connection substrate with the source and substrate again with the source you can place the vdd components to place the vdd or vdc component go to sources time domain Select the VDC. Select the VDC. And I want to measure what is the current drawn, that is the IDS curve current which is drawn by this circuit. So for that, search I probe or I can call it as current probe. You can search it current probe or I probe. Place the component here. So, this icon or this bar has to match with this. So, on the same side. So, select this component, just click on mirror about y axis once that is done make the connections using the insert wire place the ground component you require a dc source just try to copy it use control c and control v
make the required connection name this so i want to name this as b out so click on insert wire or pin label this one to v out and this as b in i want to perform the dc characteristics of this inverter so for that go to the palette select the simulation dc place the dc controller as well as parametric sweep so i want to perform the dc so these are the two controllers which are to be placed for dc analysis so just double click on it and display the component or variable to be swept sweep variable enable it start stop step these are the four parameters click ok so i want to make this as b in this is the parameter or i'll write it in the capitals this is the parameter which i want to perform the sweeping so load this value v in so start from 0 and stop at 1 volt maximum of 1 volt we are providing here in steps of 0 0.01 or you can use this controller let me delete this before that initialize this particular v in value because we are using it as a variable in the design sorry make this as v in to do that click on variable and rename this x to v in equal to 0 value initial value as 0 so save the design so before we perform the simulation using verilog a model select these two transistors and choose view for simulation select it as verilog a then only this circuit can be simulated in these two mode it will not be simulated because we have created the verilog a model of this so once it is changed you can see the verilog a model of this you can double click on it to see the parameters this one also once this is done, you are ready for simulation. Just select this rectangular plot. I want to plot V in and V out. Add these two, click OK. You can see the transfer characteristics of the inverter that is dc characteristics so let me change this to 2 and place auto that is symbols and this line to 1.5 so whenever the value is low the output is in a high and when the input is high the output goes low so this is the voltage transfer characteristics of a inverter in the similar manner i want to plot what is the current drawn by this source point the current at this point i want to note it so for that what you have to do is just use one more 
rectangular plot select the i probe click on add you can see the current with the dotted or short dash so you can just overlap it there is a fast switching now let me change the color of this there is a fast switching from high to low this is the dc characteristics in the similar manner i would like to show you the other analysis of the inverter which i have created earlier so this is the transient analysis for the same inverter circuit that is i have applied a pulse and this is the transient analysis just simulate this this shows the response of the inverter that is the transient analysis whenever the value is high in this case the output is falling to a low and for low it is high save this and i want to show it for nand analysis so to turn off this grid lines you can go to options preferences grid snap dots so this is the two input nand gate circuit which are formed by using the pcn fed that is two pcn feds in parallel and two ncn feds in series i am performing the transient analysis of this with two inputs and named as va vb with v out so let me simulate this click on simulate this shows the response of the nand so whenever let me change the color of this so whenever the two values are high that is va and vb are one the output is falling to zero so like this you can verify for all the combinations this is how you use the verilog a model in advanced design system tool save this